Hate crime call handlers giving script defending Hamza Yusuf. What a really, really strange thing for like a, apparently a completely impartial government body to do to actually support a specific political candidate. What a really, really odd thing for the police to do. But let's have a look at it anyway. Police Scotland issues guide on form of words to use when people complain about First Minister, who, under his own law, did in fact commit a hate crime. Now, I don't think that anything should be, I don't think any law should be uh, enforced retroactively. Jesus Christ, definitely not. That would be, I mean, especially this law. I'd be in prison for a very long time. <laughs> but anyway, like, but just the fact is, is his speech did contravene the law. It could have stirred up hatred against white people, which is obviously his intention because that's what Hamza used to Hamza doesn't like white people, right? That's just... I don't know why he therefore wanted to become leader of a white country, but, you know, whatever. He, he doesn't like white people. That, that we know for a fact. Uh, Police Scotland staff have been given a script defending Hamza Yusuf after he, after he faced a deluge of hate crime reports. The National Force issued an email guide to call centre workers and officers advising them of lines to take in response to claims that the First Minister made a racist speech at Holyrood. Claims, like, it's on video. We've seen it. Like, we've seen and heard everything that he said. Like, there's proof. It wasn't claims he made a He made a racist speech about white people. Right? He has a problem with people with white skin, white, white skin holding positions of power in their own country. He has a problem with it. He doesn't like it. He sees it as a bad thing. He is racist, right? Like, fucking claims. Shut up. Uh, it's made a whole route at the height of the Black Lives Matter movement. Mr. Yusuf, who was then the Justice Secretary, had highlighted the race of a series of high-profile figures in Scottish public life in June 2020, pointing out that each of them was white, something that Hamza Yusuf hates. Uh, he added that at 99% of the meetings he went to, he was the only non-white person in the room and said Scotland has a problem of structural racism. Well, now you're literally the leader of the country. You're at the top. A brown man is at the very, very top. I mean... There are obviously no structural racism. You're the fucking tip of the pyramid, son. And so you're going to shut up about it now? No, of course you're not, because that is your entire fucking shtick. That's your entire base. Like, every, nobody likes me because I'm brown. Oh, let's let the little retard have a turn being in charge. Like, that's why, that's why you're in charge. It wasn't because of, you know, your glorious, like, long, like, political career full of amazing achievements. You've literally done nothing. You've done loads and loads of fuck-ups, but you've not done anything with your political career, apart from take away everyone's human rights and then bitch about white people being in charge of a white country because you're that stupid. Like, same as if I went to fucking Nigeria and I'm like, why are all these Nigerians in charge of the government? Because I'm in Nigeria, that's why. You know? You know, me me with my triple-digit IQ can figure, can figure that out. Uh, his remarks have since been taken out of context online in a 45 second class, not been taken out of context. We've seen it, we've seen the whole speech. With Elon Musk describing Mr. Yusuf on his social media platform X, formerly Twitter, as a blatant racist in October 2022, Hamza Yusuf is in fact racist. Right? There's certain posts that some people, there's no evidence of it, right? So this is just posts, this is just conjecture, this is just claims that uh, he has a few things to say about Indian people. <laughs> Allegedly, 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 right? Allegedly, he has a few uh, claims that he's a few things that he said about uh, Indian people. Uh, such was the volume of complaints about the remarks that Police Scotland issued a guide on a form of words to recite when members of the public complain about the First Minister under his new hate crime laws. It states that Mr. Yusuf had been making reference to his own personal experience of racism, right? His own personal experience of racism was working with white people. So that his experience of racism was literally just being in the same room as white people. White people exist around me. That's racist, which, to be honest, is the root of all modern-day anti-racism activism. But let's continue. And that nothing said in the speech was threatening, abusive, or insulting. I found it quite insulting. You have a massive... Hamza Yusuf has a massive problem with white people being in charge of their own country. I find that rather insulting. Should we not be in charge? What we're supposed to do, just hand the reins over to people like you who take away our human rights the instant you get a little bit of power? Like, is, is that what we're supposed to do? We, we're supposed to just bend over and take it, Hamza? I mean, that is what he wants. Like, just fucking, just at least be honest, right? You're a totalitarian, just at least be honest about it. Uh, it adds that when he'd been referring to white people, he had been pointing out a matter of fact. Oh, <laughs> oh. Oh, nah, nah, let's try and get this video more. Are we, are we going to talk about facts now, boy? All right. 
Okay then, I'm gonna I'm gonna note that word. See when I start pointing at statistics, I'm gonna say I'm just pointing out a matter of fact. In fact, the fact that Hamza Yusuf has used this as a defence means that this can be used as a defence in a court of law. If it's good enough for the leader of this great nation, it's fucking good enough for us. Uh, the guide said there was no malice or ill will towards any person or group. Yes, there was. We've seen the speech. This is gaslighting, total gaslighting. Uh, any personal group displayed in anything said, and so it does not meet the threshold to be recorded as a non-crime hate incident. Yes, there was. He was trying to stir up hatred against white people because he doesn't like them having positions of power in that country. He voiced his displeasure about it, and he voiced that it must be changed. That was the important part. He said that that must be changed, which means these people should be fired from their jobs, and he was trying to stir up hatred against them in order to make that happen so that he can give all the positions to his own little friends who are obviously of a same ilk uh, to Hamza Yusuf because it's total subversion. He's wanting to take over the country. Hamza Yusuf doesn't like white people. He doesn't. He do he doesn't. He hates white people. Like, and it's obvious from that speech. If you like, you've all seen it. This is just total gaslighting about what actually happened and about what was actually said. Uh, the email issued by Scotland Police Scotland's diversity unit. <laughs> diversity unit. I'm going to grow up to be a police officer. Oh, you're going to catch murderers and rapists? No. I'm going to make sure that there are blacks in the police and I'm going to make sure that the gays work in the office. <laughs> <laughs> like, who fucking wants to grow up to be a cop to do that? The diversity unit, Jesus Christ, man. Imagine that office party. Where at the end of it, everyone has been referred to HR over some bullshit microaggression. No one photoshopped their arse in the photocopier, but Steve said, like, the word gay with the wrong tone. <laughs> and that's him written up now. Uh, after the hate crime laws came into force this month, uh, added that the speech was protected under Mr. Yusuf's right to freedom of speech. Was it? Oh, now he cares. Now he gives a shit. He passes a law to fuck that fucking annihilates freedom of speech in Scotland and then goes, but that's my freedom of the man. Oh. Of course he's no shame. Of course he's no shame about doing that. Uh, the force has been deluged with complaints since the legislation was brought in, many of them about Mr. Yusuf. Look at that. Look at that. This is for the entire year. A year's worth of hate crime in one week. In one week, we got fucking more hate crime reports than there have been in the previous years. Jesus, the previous entire year. Say, so, oh, it's lovely. I love it. Uh, in the first week of the legislation, seven thousand one hundred and fifty-two online hate reports were made, though fewer than four percent were recorded as hate crimes. The force has previously faced questions over why the complaints uh, were not recorded as a non-crime hate incident, while well, remarks by Tory MSP Murdo Fraser complaining about Scottish government gender policies were because it is a biased law that is. Selected Elective prosecution. We've discussed this. Basically, any hate speech law that comes out right now will be used primarily towards the right because the right are the ones directly challenging the government at the moment. The left are not. The left are supporting the current status quo. That's why we're the rebels. Yeah, we're rebelling. We're the kid. No, they're not. They're, they're the government stooges. Right. To be fair, right. One thing I absolutely will grant the government is see all like all the hippies and all the yeah, we're like totally anarchist man, but we still believe people should pay taxes by force. You know those ones. Those, like, absolute LARPers, right? The government managed to turn them pro-government, right? One thing is the government's useless at absolutely everything. That managing to, like, unconsciously turn the entire left into pro-government stooges, pro-big pharma stooges, like, like, I'm sorry, like, <laughs> it's like that fucking drill tweet. You really got to hand it to them, right? It's like, fucking, that was impressive. Uh, according to Police Scotland's published policies, hate incidents are recorded based solely on the perception of the person making the complaint, which is something that we have discussed uh, many times before. It's actually in the police's own hate crime operational guidance handbook, where doesn't matter what the officer thinks, doesn't matter what the law says, doesn't matter what you think, and it doesn't even matter what actually happened. All that matters is that person's perception of what happened. So the example that I like to give is I'm walking down the street, I accidentally bang into a guy, I turn around to him and I say, watch where the fuck you're going, and I keep walking. Now, that guy might have been a gay man, right? I didn't know that at the time. I mean, sometimes you can tell, but I didn't know that at the time. All that guy has to do is say that he perceives I did that because he is gay. And that's enough of an arrest. That's enough because... What actually happened doesn't matter, what my intentions were doesn't matter, what the police think doesn't matter, what matters is the victim's perception.
But everyone will get... Yeah, that's the fucking point. That's why these laws exist. They want a reason to be able to arrest you at any moment for any reason at any time. This is the build-up to totalitarianism that the left massively support. We hate the government, and yet every single day they're fighting to make the government even stronger, and it is the funniest shit. It's funny. I mean, it's not funny. It's fucking terrifying, but at the same time, it is still kind of funny. Uh, Sharon Dowie, the Deputy Justice Spokesman for the Scottish Tory, said, It is a measure of how farcical Hamza Yusuf's hate crime law is that police officers have effectively been given a script on how to respond to the flood of complaints made against the First Minister under the very legislation that he piloted and introduced. A Police Scotland spokesman said, We have received a number of complaints in relation to a speech in the Scottish Parliament in June, June 10, 2020. Earlier complaints regarding this matter were assessed at the time and it was established no crime was committed and no further action was required and the reason for that is Hamza Yusuf is a member of a protected privileged class Hamza Yusuf is a privileged man right he's privileged he was born with privilege he now has so much privilege that he's in charge of the entire country and he is able to violate everybody else's free speech rights while having the fucking absolute cheek to claim the free speech defense when he gets called out for his own racism he is not long for this, by the way. He is not long. But basically, there are there are stirrings in the SNP where they're like, we have to get rid of him or we are going to get annihilated at the next election. The man does not belong in power. He doesn't belong working in a fucking McDonald's, like I've said before. The man is a moron. We all, you know, we're not allowed to talk about it, but we all know why he got his job, right? He was the right colour and he complained enough. That's why he got the job. He wins, he, he basically, he just, he's a permanent victim. He's a victim in everything that he does. Whenever you try and criticise him for anything, oh, it's not because of my actual policies or the things I've actually done. It's because I'm brown. He even had the cheek to sit in that interview and says, uh, everyone that's, hate, that's uh, made that complaint about me was a member of the far right. No, it wasn't. It was white people who reported you under your law, as you told people to do, because you made a racist speech. You made a racist speech about white people because you hate white people. Right? That's for a fact. Right? And I hope you try and arrest me for fucking saying that shit. I will defend that in court. You hate white people. Right? You don't like them. But, to be honest, you know, that does grease the right wheels.